Mine. What tits? Uh huh. Oh, the puppies. <laughs> that was funny. Uh huh. I she thought brought it was out, funny. She brought out the puppy. I mean, the puppies, the puppy. Mm -hmm. You thought it was funny. People were worried. They're like, oh my god. I know. I saw that they were worried, and I was like, that's funny. Man, it's gonna be so mad. No. Oh. I would have said that probably if I thought of it. Yeah, it was funny. I thought it was funny. Yeah. So the people in the vlog, they they miss you. Yeah, you they said guys. two days in a row they didn't see you. I was sleeping. Yeah. So whenever you guys think something's going on or wrong, I'm sleeping. <laughs> Almost That's, every single time, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, yeah. You like to sleep. You just you need to sleep. Sleep. I do. I need to sleep, but also I don't fall asleep like you do. It takes me a long time. Yeah. So I'm a pro. I just lay there awake, look at the ceiling for a while. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so what do you got going on today, my love? I'm going to the hair place. Okay. I sound like such a vapid moron. I'm going <laughs> to get my hair done. I'm going to get um, my lashes done. Okay. Cool. So hey, you know what? That's it. Yeah. That's all I got for the day. And then maybe I'll come visit you at the trailer. That'd be fun. Ooh. All right, I haven't love. done that yet, really. No, not really. Okay. Hey, puppies. What you got going on there? You barking at the maids? You barking at the maids, Apollo? Come on. Hey, Rocky. You guys doing a good job barking at the maids? Huh? Is that what you're doing? That's good boys. Picking up juice for who? One of the fills. With the fill, the black one or the white one? I don't know. I didn't see. I <laughs> saw so it's Phil Ivy's picking up juice for Phil. How did that happen? Uh, I, I, I'd rather not say. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're off to day two of the $1,500 pot limit Omaha eight or better. We didn't have to rebuy it. We ran okay on day one. We entered level five, so we played six hours of it. We're busting out the uh, trusty contender's clothing Rocky shirt. This is one of the coolest scenes, you know, when he's running against Apollo and Rocky three after losing his way. Got to get the eye of the tiger back, you know, um, and he does. So we got to work on that eye of the tiger thing right now. That's what we're doing focus up uh there likely will be a couple delays today that's my guess and they haven't said so but i'm thinking ahead and thinking of numbers so that the place is big as you saw we were in el burro last night because you got to meet the man man it's like it, just, it is what it is there's only so much room and there's only so many tables so put a table anywhere you can you know to to, to, to satisfy everyone obviously it's less enjoyable to play there than you know the other rooms but hey it's still a world series poker uh today i imagine a madhouse because here's the thing they had that tournament that we played yesterday, the Deep Stack, which is going to come back with, what, like 1,500, 1,600 people. You have the Pot Limit Omaha 8 chime in, which should come back with about 400 people. So now we're at 2,000. And you got, you know, whatever, 50 people in the uh, in the 50K, which is negligible. That's, you know, now we're talking about, you know, right around 2,000 people. Plus, you have $400 buy-in, Colossus Day, Heat 1, Flight 1. So... I believe that was a 10 a.m. start. Um, depending on how fast they break, uh, I would imagine there's a likelihood that uh, there will be a scarcity of tables. So we're in the Miranda room, which I like that room. It's kind of a little bit away further from the trailer, but not so far that we can't handle the walk. Um, and I like the room, it's just comfortable, peaceful. It's kind of, you know, it's away from, I mean, listen, I love engaging with people and stuff like that, but this one's much more secluded and I can kind of just play a little bit, uh, which sometimes is nice. Um, so yeah, we ex I expect the delay. We'll see. We'll see. It's supposed to start at two o'clock. I'm going to bet, I'm going to bet we start at 12, at 2.12, 12 minutes late. That's my guess. We'll see how I do. This bit, why do you want Bitcoin to go up so much? Uh, so because you have a lot like, of Bitcoin. No, I have zero, but I, I, I there's a lot of poker players that do, and uh, they're rich, and uh, and you're not, and I'm not. No. So I needed them to get richer, so then they so can they can loan you money, or you can beat them out of it. Well, well both. Uh, loan them to me why don't Why don't you loan him money, Richie? Not a problem. I loan everybody money. You didn't know that. You ever get paid back? Same as everybody else. 40, about 60% of the time. That's a pretty good deal. Oh my God, 60%? Like, I've been paid back like. God, if I was paid back 60%, yeah. I wouldn't be broke. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've learned over the years when playing split pot games like a PLO or whatever, 
when the dealers are starting to split the pot and they're completely blowing it, messing it up, I just have to like not watch. And just walk away and just let them do their own thing, especially if I'm not involved, because it might drive me nuts. See, I've learned. I just go home, let it happen. I'm, I'm not gonna help. Do your thing. <laughs> See, Richie's trying over there now. 22, It's still going. There is some complicated spots though with, with pot limit, especially because when a player quarters the other player, you know, takes a little bit of calculation. Sometimes uh, you just don't have a method that works as well. I walk away. All right, into the first couple levels. We dipped a little bit, 20,000, but I had an interesting situation come up. Um, with a hand exactly like I described last night where I talked about how you want to temper aggression on flops with high hands and then push the envelope on the turn. So here's the hand. Let's do a breakdown. I raise the button. We're playing pot limit Omaha. You're better. The blinds are 800, 1600. I raise the button with king, king, queen, 10, two hearts, two diamonds, double suited, pretty good high hand. The big blind calls. The flop is... 10 of clubs, seven of hearts, five of spades. He checks and I have the over pair and my kings are probably good right now, but I don't bet here. Um, I bet here, you know, he could have some sort of low draw, straight draw type thing and, you know, get it in and you, you don't really want to. So safer to wait for a turn, see what the turn cards, if the turn card comes low, then I can just get away from the kings. I'm like not gonna just get free roll, right? So I check back the flop. Turn is a queen of diamonds. Now he bets like half his stack, I raise him all in, he calls, he has ace, deuce, three, jack. So as you can see, he can only win, he can only beat me with two outs, two kings. That's a good spot to get it in. Of course he has the low draw for half, but you know, we'll take that all day, twice on Sunday, if we can keep getting it in situations where, you know, to win, they have two outs and whatever, like to uh, half is half, but he ended up hitting an eight on the river, so we chopped the pot, but uh, that's that's how you like to play that. It's it's funny because it was illustrated exactly as I described how you want to like adjust to pot limit uh, versus limit in Omaha eight or better. So we're about 330 players left. I think about 170 make the money. Slow pace for this one too. It's hard to bust people because split pot games and PLO with no ante might take a while to get some money. on break of the trailer I'm pretty sure Phil Ivy was in there and dropped the deuce because I'm stank up in my trailer right now I don't know maybe it's all these he's been drinking these because he likes these pressed juicery things it's the kitchen sink whatever uh, so I fill those up for him he says it gives him energy but man does it make the whoo I wish he would drop deuce somewhere else just saying but I don't know I did give him a key so kind of have to take ownership of that one and then he grabbed them back. Okay. You didn't bring them to the mouth? I didn't bring them all the way to the mouth. Good. All right. Thank you, everybody. Dean Eggs approved a ruling there. There's a situation where a player raised, didn't see the other player. Dean Eggs approved on the ruling, and a player moved his hand to the muck, didn't see, but it didn't actually hit any other cards. It's clearly identifiable. Gave his hand back, and he's going to win the pot there. Yeah. All right, well, sitting here playing the PLO 8, got word that uh, YouTube, once again, for the second time, has said, like, pull a video that we put yesterday that had no online poker, no nothing, like a little joke about North Korea or something, you know, that I had a dream about, nothing. I have no idea. They don't give us any information. They don't tell us why it was flagged. They say, give us a reason why you think it shouldn't be flagged. I'm like, because we didn't do, we didn't break any of the guidelines. We try very hard to focus on the guidelines and now they're saying that like, we can't post videos for a week. Um, the good news is, uh, you know, there's always a backup plan and we've always got one. So if you want to see those videos, whether it was day 19 or day 28, you'll be able to find them on my Facebook page which is uh, uh, it's official Real Kid Poker, I believe. So you can find those there for now. 
We're, I've got my people working on it, but it's pretty annoying. I don't understand. Like we're doing everything we can to follow these guidelines and still, you know, we got flagged for the second time. I don't tell you. 240,000, average is about 130,000. Says about 205 players left, 168 make the money. We've played 14 levels in this event for a $1,500 buy-in. Um, this isn't shocker to anyone who plays these things. That's too long. It's a little bit too long. What's up, Chief? How we doing? Just on the grind. <laughs> so uh, I think it's what you know. It's a case of this. We got more chips this year, and the structure's adjusted for the chips. But I don't think, especially for PLO8, it's a very like small game in terms of what you pay each round. I don't think it's adjusted. Well, and it's also a split-pot game. It adjusted well enough because I don't think anyone who you see here's the thing. Nobody, no pros are arguing for like less play overall. They just want to shift the play. So less play to get to the money, more play after the money. Because when you're playing for the big money, you don't want to be like, whatever. For me, I'm easy either way, but like the idea of playing, you know, 16, hour, 16 hours in a 1500 just to make, you know, whatever it is, five, 600 bucks. If, if I was a professional poker player, wouldn't be worth it to play those or any of them. So part of it when you play poker is you have to think about how many hours in a day you have, how much money you can make in an event. And if they take far too long, like look, use an extreme example, right? What if you played a $1,500 event and it took one month to finish and you had to pay 12 hours a day each day for those 12 hours. And then you min cash for that thousand, you get 1200 bucks. Okay, so you just worked a month <laughs> full time made $200. That's not going to pay the bills. Uh, obviously that's an extreme example, but you know, there's a danger with structures where you can go too far that way. And I think, I think it'll all be fixed. Like I'm very confident. Like you, one thing you got to say, you always got to take your head off to the world series of poker yeah. is that they listen. They really do. Like mistakes happen, changes are made, different things go on. But when they do, they'll take a look and they'll fix it. They have no incentive to make these things run longer. It's not good for them. They do it because they think, you know, players want more play. Sometimes they push too far, but I've always known that, you know, they're more, they want, they want to make players happy as much as you might not see that or think that it's always the case in, in spot like this. It doesn't them no good. As I said, they're not, they're not screwing you because they, they want to, they're, they're doing what they thought was best. And sometimes you just have to tweak and that's what we'll do. I'm sure in the off season and make them pitch perfect. We got good news, still in the money here. I really want to thank the people at YouTube, Team YouTube on Twitter for working on this issue so quickly. We got the videos back up, day 28, day 19. Uh, you can check them out on the YouTube channel. Thanks again, y'all. Cheers, and we're gonna be good boys, I promise. We're not gonna do nothing silly, nothing. Just always guideline, whatever it says, we'll be good, I promise. A bubble of this $1,500 PLO, and I was just reminded, this is our defending champion right here. Huh? And I was, I didn't even know, but he reminded me that I came in ninth in this thing last year. Right? Two players, yeah. Yeah, true story, right? PLO8, I told you I was good. I said I was good. Now, Mikey, he's a good guy, though. what did you do? You gave it to him? Well, you, you folded the ace ace deuce four because it's only one suit. I was in a lot of pain. I yeah. had not enough flush, and I knew you, when you checked back, dude, I knew you cut against me. Cut that story in. there. Here in the money bubble, I had to save old Shannon over here. She was walking the Colossus streets, and it wasn't fun. She's about to leave. And I said, you want to work? She goes, she's like, yes. She comes to work. She's a hustler, you know? So we're on the grind here. Yeah, that's what's up. All right, so we made the dinner break. We busted the bubble. It was a long ass bubble. It took 16 levels. But we're through. Average stack's about 170,000. We're playing three and 6,000 blinds. Yours truly was, is on the button. Just played a couple pots. Have 50,000, uh, which is less than average, as I said. But again, this is a game where 50,000 is akin to like 100 bigs. <laughs> Maybe that's a little extreme. But, you know, you get what I'm saying. Um, you can limp. You can see flops. Uh, in order to get bust, you have to really get screwed because... I'm gonna play hands that are, for the most part, two-way hands, you know, hands that have high and low features, but if not, you know, I'm gonna get it in on flops that are good. Like I can still call a raise and fold, right? I just did actually. Um, it's still a little bit of wiggle room. It's not like an all-in or shove type situation at all in Hot Limit Omaha 8. So I feel pretty confident, you know, it's maybe overconfidence, but only, you know, what is it gonna be? A 50K, big line is six. <laughs> but I've been in worse shape. We're okay, we're gonna have a little dinner, chill out.
Let's get back to work. There we go. Hey, you got to give her the thingy. Give her the thingy. Give her the thingy. And then we move on to the 10K Raz. Got it in with the uh, eight. Well, I called the raise on the button with Ace 338 with the Ace 8 suited. Uh, have a pot size bed or less left. Flop is Jack 8. Five. Thank you. Spot middle pin. Got a second at low draw. Guy goes in. We go in. He has to be destroyed. The ace deuce with a jack. So we made the low in the turn, but uh, not quite good enough. So we on to the uh, 10K Raz now. Let's try to catch some low cards. So, y'all, that makes 10 caches in the World Series book. I don't know if I've ever cashed that many times. But then again, you know, I don't usually play these small tournaments. I usually play the 10Ks. And it's very easy to cash. I mean, for the most part, in the small ones, the problem is to make some real big dough, you gotta go real, real deep. And, you know, I, I, there's been several tournaments where I've cashed and busted within an hour, short stack, or whatever. So, 10K Raz, we should be entering for, I don't know, what level three to five, five to seven, seven to nine. This will be level seven, so we're gonna jump right in. There's no time to waste. Instructions are pretty quick. We're playing pretty high. Um, Feel good. Got a little coffee over here, so yeah. Upbeat, feeling good. Let's run, let's make some wheels. Put me on video. It's not on, it's nothing. What's happening? Are you so happy you came to the Rio today? <laughs> I'm huh? just thrilled. I played for a fing hour. <laughs> you should have said to me, what did you say before when you walked up? Something about never talk me out of it whenever I want to play a I saw you tweet it too. You're like, should I go play cash or come to the Rio? And and did you see my other tilt? My no, other tweet? I'm no. on massive tilt. I should be out shortly. <laughs> Jennifer Herman, you guys have been asking about her. She's still hanging around in these terms. She loves the tournaments. You can tell so much. She's a passion for it. <laughs> well, here we are. We've played uh, a little less than two hours. And uh, oh my God, am I in a Raz game? I'm, shut the doors. It's unbelievable. We got about 170,000. Start with 60, so that's really good. Um, I just had a hand in Raz. They won't believe it. You won't believe it. Four Street. This is how four, Raz hands always start. Four, no, Four Street. I mean, forget about it. it. Doesn't matter what happened. But Four Street. My board is three nine. Okay. My opponent's board is five five. So we're heads up. How many bets did we get in? Oh my god. How many you got, bets? You got five bets in. Five game. bets. Five bets on Sixth Street. I was drawing dead, so I folded. But I had the 9-3. You're never drawing that on purpose. I'm in the best yeah. Raz game of, un, of all time. It is, worst, a, right? no, it is adorable, all. cute. It's so <laughs> ridiculous. This Asian guy on my left just does not quit. Raz is a good tune. Huh? Raz this one? Oh, tune. my God. All right, so we got chips. We're doing good. How y'all doing? We have chips. They have chips. Not, not, not as much as you have. No, I've been here an hour, though. So. All right. <laughs> this guy wants on the vlog, so you beat me a pot. Congratulations. Can you just have a video go up and say huge fan? In the huge fan? Of, yeah, huge, huge fan. Were you Korean? Yeah. Okay. Begupan, mani mani sarange. That's all I got. <laughs> then you got Kerry Katz who loves being on camera. It's his favorite thing. That's why he started Poker Go, so that he could be on TV and impress his family back home. So he started the network Poker Go. And if you want to sign up for Poker Go, you can save 10 bucks. On an annual subscription using promo code Daniel. How about that, huh? There's another promo code, like <laughs> yeah. WSOP. There you go, Mr. Poker Go, Poker Central, whatever, you know, and then other people here. I was a very- That's the fives guy. Yes. <laughs> Day in paradise, yours truly, bagging up 208,000 in chips. Sure, buddy. Thank you very much. You're waiting patiently. Yeah. Thank you so much. You got it, no worries. So that's it, we did good here in the Raz. About half the field gone. I'm sure we'll have some stragglers. Uh, a lot of the guys that were left in 50K, there's about 13 of them. All of them, I'm well, most of them will play the 10K Raz. So missing some players there. The number should be a little bit down, about 100. Um, What's the fun hands I want to tell you about? Oh, well, I guess I can't tell you too much, but I used to learn a lot from just watching really good Raz players like uh, Ted Forrest, Huck Seed, and like John Hennigan, and who else was it? There's another, anyway, the good Raz players. And uh, I've been incorporating some of the things that uh, they do strategy-wise, and it's been fun. I would say that 
of all the games in the eight game mix, I enjoy Raz, but I think, and not because I think I'm bad at it, but I think it's probably, if I had to pick my worst game of the eight game mix, I think it's probably Raz, but I'm not certain. Most of you on YouTube will probably go with PLO, and I will beg to differ, of course. <laughs> but uh, that's another day. Uh, it was fun. Got a cash in. Numero 10. That's pretty decent, but uh, you know, when you look at the bottom line, which you're gonna see in just a moment, still stuck because of that high roller package down 175, but uh, if we knock this one off, that'll put a real big dent into the overall. So let's do that, Why, shall we? Yeah. See y'all.